They called them the harbor folk. The harbor folk. The harbor goblins. <laughs> um, what do you want to give me a dinghy? <laughs> What's up, everybody? My name is Nick. I'm Mike. We are the Brothers Murph. Today, we are playing Great Western Trail Boom. New Zealand, which was provided by uh, Edgar Spiel. Thank you so much, Edgar Spiel, for, so much for that giving us the D. game here. But yeah, this is a new Great Western Trail. Absolutely. In this one, you are uh, herding sheep and stuff, Whoa. using uh, dogs. Potentially, there's all these deck building cards, bonus tiles, birds. fairies, and stuff. Literally, there's a lot of different stuff to this one versus the original Great Western Trail. So let's go ahead and show you an overview so we can show you kind of, we'll mostly focus on the stuff that is new to this and a little bit about how Great Western Trail works, but it's still the same here where you're moving from building to building, yeah. doing things and making deliveries, but there's a whole lot of new stuff to explore, so check out this overview. In Great Western Trail New Zealand, players will once again be following a trail, stopping off at buildings to make use of their actions and finally deliver a diverse hand of cards now to Wellington. And that's about where the similarities to the original Great Western Trail ends. Now you'll be running a herd of sheep instead of cattle. You can still make deliveries in Wellington, but you also have the option to shear your sheep and make deliveries of wool, making use of buildings on your way to the end of the trail. To deliver more wool, you'll need to hire the new type of employee, the shearer. Each shearer allows you to shear a different sheep type, making use of its wool value. Each sheep will provide a breeding value for the traditional delivery method as well as their wool value. Players now also have sea routes to explore using their sailors, formerly the train engineers. Many actions will refer to how many sailors you have, each one granting a point of movement along connected paths in the water. You can also use a movement point to drop off storehouses, allowing you new locations to deliver wool and sheep, as well as becoming harbor masters by leaving behind an employee and gaining the harbor master tile to give you an in-game bonus and an end-game scoring opportunity. As storehouses are placed, you may unlock the new resource gold, and permanent certificates are wool. Players may even reach the end of the line with their seafaring, which will give that player a deck building card and end game points, and their ship will return to the harbor in Wellington to once again venture out. Speaking of deck building cards, in addition to the sheep cards that can be acquired, many types of deck building cards can be earned via many bonuses in the game. When one of these cards are drawn, they can be played for its benefit, such as a couple of pounds, movement of the Pathfinder track, and more, and after making use of the card, they immediately draw a new card into their hand. Which bonus cards you will use from game to game changes, there are 10 sets, only 4 of which get used in addition to the 4 types of bonus cards always present. Players can now collect gold as a new resource on their board, and gold can be turned in to collect various types of cards. Players can also move up the Pathfinder track each time they gain a Kotare bird, and this track gains players the ability to move faster, build on certain build spaces, and even eliminate the need to pay penalties from hazards in other players' buildings. Players can use shepherds to acquire new sheep to help with diversifying their hand of cards, and players can build buildings using craftsmen. When hiring employees, they now have their own area of the board, and the price is dictated by how many of that type of employee are present on the board. If there are several sailors, for example, the price goes down but if there's only one shepherd available for hire, you'll have to pay top dollar, or top pound. When a player arrives in Wellington, they will deliver their sheep much in the same way as the previous iterations of Great Western Trail. You once again look to have a diverse hand of sheep to gain the highest possible breeding value, making sure to count any permanent certifications they have and spending any temporary certifications they wish. Once you have your breeding value, you'll gain that many pounds and you discard all cards used. You may now remove a disc from your player board and you can place it on any space equal to or less than your breeding value and in a location that you haven't placed a disc before. There are several spaces on the main board which are available to you at the start of the game and many more on the sea routes board that can be delivered to if you place a storehouse at that location. Note that if you deliver to a location with a white border, the disc you remove from your board must also have a white border. Locations with a black border can be populated using any disc from your board. Players will then add a tile from the A section containing hazards and employees, and then a bonus tile from the B section. Bonus tiles bring a new element to the game. Certain buildings will allow players to purchase bonus tiles, much like you would an employee. Bonus tiles come in all types and often give instant rewards and deck building cards, while some are simply worth points. There is also the Joker, who is a wild type of employee and can be placed on any employee row but costs a gold in addition to the normal cost to acquire the tile. Players will complete several trips through the trails along scenic New Zealand, reaching Wellington and dropping off sheep at valuable locations before looping to the beginning of the trail once again. About halfway through the game, several neutral buildings will flip to their second side, giving players new action opportunities and once the bonus tiles market token comes off the bottom of the board, each other player takes one final turn and then it's time to tally up the scores. Players will score points for sheep and cards they gained, money left over, hazards cleared, any harbor master tiles, buildings, locations reached, they're standing on the Pathfinder track, and objectives completed, and the player with the most points wins. Go with me here, man. Hmm. Sheeps greater than cows. Maybe? Depends on what you want. Are we with that? You know. You're gonna be so bold to say. So bold to say. I like know? sheep a lot, though. I, I do just, like sheep. I'm a fan. It's, a, it's a nice. 
change. Great Western Trail, you know, we're, we're moving sheep instead of cattle. How good. And we're in New Zealand. Indeed. Indeed. We won't, we won't We'll do, try and not do Kiwi accents. We won't hit you with some Korg. It's going to be all it, Korg. It wouldn't be. To be fair, a lot of New Zealanders I've met sound remarkably like Korg. It's a lot of Korgness. Yeah, so, you know, but then you yeah, like Stephen Adams who doesn't, you know, yeah, so. that's okay. So, we're out. Um, you, so I'm yeah. Slayer. Yes, indeed. We're going up to Wellington and then <sighs> shipping out to the various islands. I know. So, um, scary. so where do you want to start, Mikey? I kind of want to start on that first spot. Blah. Yeah. And you will take the action of whatever one you start on there. Yeah. You don't move. Uh, so I'm going to turn in two of the same kind of card to okay. get two pounds. Seems to be nice because I'm going to hire myself. I'm going to hire myself a, uh, a builder here. Ooh. So down here is a few of them, so it's a little bit cheaper. It only cost me seven pounds. Pay that out right there. Plop them down. There's no bonus. So I'll slot them in so hopefully I can do some building. Heck yeah. And sure, I don't have sure. enough to hire a second one. It's certainly with the uh, higher cost that, that would incur. Yeah. So uh, that's it for me. So the second, I start with five cards. So we get down to four. So I'll start with this. I am also going to start here mostly because I have two of these trash Shropshire sheep. So I'm going to get rid of those for two, uh, two bucks. And then I'm just going to hold off on those two bucks. And I'm going to, ooh, let's get a shepherd for seven. So it's going to be five. And I'll take this shepherd right here. And this shepherd's gonna give me another exchange token by covering up that. But that way I can get um, get some more sheepies. Very nice. Um, I'm just gonna move to this next spot here. Can I go point to point? Right. Um, so this right here, the little burb, gives me two movement up the Pathfinder track there. Yes. No bonuses just yet. I could instead take an objective. Our objectives are up here. Sometimes they have you line them up along the side, but we're going up to the top here. It's a large game. Just for, uh, for our own purposes. And I get one point of boat movement because I only have one of my, my little Sailors. My little sailors, my little harbor folks. So I'm going to go just from here to here. I can't place out um, a building because that takes another point of movement yes, to do, indeed. but I'm kind of set up for the future. They call them the harbor folk. The harbor folk. The harbor goblins. <laughs> um, what do you want to give me a thingy? <laughs> Are you trading what is it boats? What you want? Um, sorry. Oof. What to do here? Quit. Resign. Mostly quit. Cry. Quit. Um, I think I'm going to go, ah, I don't want to keep doing the exact same thing you're doing, but I am going to go here and move up the Pathfinder track. Can't get away from this guy. And I'll move, I guess I'll move my boat to the same spot. I'm doing the wow. exact same thing Mikey is doing. He went first. I was going to do it. I had plans. All right, man. I need to fjord my own path here. <laughs> um, hmm. Interesting. Okay. I'm intrigued. Intrigued even. <sighs> I'm in tree. Hello. Um, Who are you? <laughs> reveal yourself. Oh, gosh. Okay. I'm going to move. Don't want to skip the spot. I don't have money for a bonus tile. So I think I'm just going to go kind of whoop up to here. Okay. Instead. So you can turn in a green sheep. Green goblin for two, for two pounds. An English Leicester. I will do that. I'm going to build. I do have two builders, so I can build anything that requires one Ooh. or two builders. Um, I think I'm going to build this. So I'm going to build this building. It's going to cost me four pounds, because it takes two builders. You pay two pounds per mm -hmm. builder, basically mm -hmm. required. Um, and this right here is going to allow me to hire more employees with a two-pound discount and uh, do drawing two cards and discarding two cards. It's almost like having a... Uh, permanent exchange token when I go to use it. Um, I think since we have hiring down there, I'm going to go up here mm. just so I have something kind of on the back half of the path to maybe get these cards a little bit more uh, the way I want them before coming into Wellington. Yeah, so that's me. It. All right, cool. Um, I thought I might build, but I don't. I don't know if I'm gonna. What's the lowest wool delivery is? Yeah, see, I don't, mm, I'm not sure. I'm going to, let's just go right here. I'll go here. I'll get a gold, blam, and then I will, I'm not going to get a bonus tile because I don't have quite enough money, but I will do this auxiliary action. I will do this one here that gives me two, two uh, more pounds. Nice. I'm going to move up to here. Okay. Shears and shape. Yeah. Um, 
I have to turn in different kinds of sheep. I'm just going to turn into South Down. They don't have very strong wool value. It's only one, but it gives me a pound. And honestly, I have a copy of it in my hand, so it's a way to maybe get a different card in my hand. Um, I don't have enough wool to deliver to any of the spots. This would take five, nine, 13. I haven't reached any other spots. Yes. Um, I can do one single auxiliary action, and I think I will take a pound. I'll take a monies. Okay. Hmm. Ooh, where do I want to go? I don't think I want to build. So I'm going to go one. Ooh, the problem is, is my movement is only three, so I could stop on Mikey's. But this also wouldn't, would I have to pay you, do I have to pay you a pound if I stop there? Oh, I'm going to go. If you want to look behind Nick, you'll notice a continuity error now. You know, there's, there is all these, there's always these behind us while we look for a rule. Don't. Don't, don't add us worry about chat. it. Uh, so yeah, so you, if you do stop here, you do still have to pay. I couldn't quite yeah. remember. So I'm going to go here. I'll take it. Um, and I am also going to give a south down, shear that sheep with uh, for one pound. And the single auxiliary action I'll do, I'll just gain another pound here. So I'll just get two. All right. I'm going to move forward one space. Or actually, hold on one second. Will I? Will I? Okay, I think I'm going to move forward one, two, three, over to here. Uh, and so I get to use my movement up to my sailors, and then just one movement point. Yeah, and you can do those either and or. And then a single too. auxiliary action. So I'm going to use my first movement point, uh, just the, the, I guess I only have one either yeah. way. So uh, I'm going to use it to put out a building. Mm -hmm. mm. I think I'm going to go Put out a warehouse. Leftmost. Yeah, you get bonuses as warehouse, you yeah. unlock these. So. And I'll put it up here, and this gives me the ability to do a delivery of five uh, yeah. or greater here to gain a gold uh, if I didn't want to take one of these or couldn't for some reason. Um, so that's nice. Gives me a little more freedom. With my other point of movement, I will simply just move here. Okay. Uh, and then my single auxiliary action. I like my card, so I'm just going to take a pound. Okay. I'm going to go up this way, this hazard. One and then two. So you'd rather pay to the bank than pay to the bank than pay. I'm not giving Spiteful. you money. I'm not giving you Spite money. Play, silly, silly hobbits. I could have taken them. I could have used it. Um, and I am going to turn in this south down here for three bucks. Boom. And then I can buy some cattle. Now I do have two. Um, I do have two shepherds. So, ooh, two shepherds. One of these is only. Uh, two bucks, which is really not bad. Or, I, I mean, I have eight bucks, which is, I could get two sheep. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm going to do that because, yeah, because then I can use one of my shepherds here to get one of these Dorset hounds for three. And then I can go here, and with one for another five, I can get another one. That way I get, I'm getting two sheep instead of one, although it would have been significantly cheaper to do the other way. Sure. So this one is only a two, but it has a lot more wool. That's kind of the Yeah, I'm going to take this Lincoln. Lincoln Dammers. Did you check him out? Um, Lincoln, we love you. Love Lincoln. Um, okay, I'm going to take this Lincoln Dammers, and then, um, yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. All right, I'm going to Wellington, man. I'm going to go one. You go to Wellington? You're crazy. Two to Wellington, man. We're out here. So I'm going to turn in my hand of sheep. I have a hand of all different sheep, making seven Ooh, total green nice. value, so I'll get seven pounds. So you know this one, if you saw in the overview, but there's no trains. So you can deliver to any of these spots. There's no, yep. you got to reach certain spots. Those there is that without here, but... You know what I'm going to do? Yeah, it's all local. Uh, You're just going down to the local pub, bringing sheep. You know how you do. Why not? I think I'm going to deliver here, which requires a six. I could also deliver here with a five. Get a gold. But I feel like, you know what? It, if the hand doesn't work out, it'll probably be easier to get to five than six. So Fair. I'll take the highest possible, um, and that will allow me to take an objective. I think I'm going to take this one here, so I have a permanent wool, because I yeah. do kind of want to do some shearing of the sheepies for realsies. Plus, if I use you know, one of these buildings will get more money, if nothing else. Uh, that will allow me to get an objective. I'm going to take this a second objective here. Mm. This one I complete, it will allow me to get uh, two movements on my boat, and I need to be to s satisfy this, at least on the fourth spot of the Pathfinder track. Which we'll get to. And to have done a delivery worth 13 or more mm. of either type. Yes. So I have that freedom there, but... That's that's definitely obtainable. I feel like I can do yeah, that. Yeah, that's definitely obtainable. I feel like it's attainable. Okay, I'm going to go... Well, I'm gonna oh, I'm sorry, I'm so I'm going to do this and do A's and B's. Hey, hey, chat. Boom. What are you doing, Colin? <laughs> 
<laughs> What'd you eat today, comments? Let me down in the comments. Gonna, What'd you eat today? Hey, what'd we get? And I'm gonna put a joker into the bonus joker. section. Jokers are great. Oh, they're great. All right, now I'll go back there. Sorry about that. Now you're good. Um, okay, so let's uh, let's go right here. I'm gonna do exactly what Mikey did, even though I did it first. Um, Think about that. I am going to let's ooh, let's do this one. I can start working on getting a permanent um, certificate. Put like that up that. there for me, and then move my boat to where you are. Boom! So now I can also deliver to that five spot, and then I can do an auxiliary action. I'm gonna do this one where I'll draw a card, and discard a card. Um, that doesn't really help, but okay. Do you want to become a station, a harbor master here, Ooh. by the way? I wanted to hang on to my, oh, my person. Okay, so that would be the kinda... wagon wheel, no, that wagon wheel, the, the ship wheel, which would be another, oh, do I get rid of my shepherd already? It would cost me two bucks. I only have one buck. I can't do it. Darn, that would be great, actually. Yeah, I think I had the money there, but I honestly forgot, uh, but it's, uh, freaking I can always come here. back to it, I suppose, in yeah. theory, so we'll see if I loop back around. What are you doing? I don't know, man. Can, can you go? Don't want loop. I think I'm done. Can you go? I think I've, re I think I've retired from the life. <laughs> from the life. Um. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm going to that first spot just because oh, I hate my cards so Employees, much. Employees, baby. <laughs> I have a cheaper, higher spot. Mm, maybe it's worth it. Maybe I can recover my cash. I need to get the two bucks. And that's I'm going to turn in two of the same card for for two pounds. Shrush. Let's see. Is there someone I want to hire? I do want to hire a builder. If I do, I can immediately build. Oh, that's interesting. And every, I mean, it's essentially the same as this right here. Everything costs. Doing it. Nice. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm going to hire. An, ooh, baby. Do I get I love the, way. the shepherd? Shepherd, hey. I'm going to, I'm a build, I'm a, I'm going to get a builder. Okay. Hire another builder. This will allow me to do a build, build action. I now have three people, so I could really build quite a lot. Yeah. Oh, man. And so it'll be two bucks per builder Mikey uses. So again, it's the same as this kind of spot here. I think, um, I think I'm going to build just a, 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 one of my single buildings. I'm going to build this here. I'm going to build over here. I'm on the second spot of the Pathfinder track, so I can I can build mm -hmm. there. Actually, I'm going to build up here, because it's still in those kind of like grasslands, and it gets me a gold. Yeah, so I'll build well. up there, actually. Gains me a gold, um, and I paid my two pounds for that. So that is going to be me. I don't have enough for a second hire, so on to you, sir. Okay. Um, I am going to go to Wellington. So I have a duplicate of an English Leicester, which these actually stay in your hand now. Uh, so I only have five. So I'll get five bucks. And then do I want to deliver? So it's I can deliver over there and get a gold, or I could deliver here and get a fairy card, which gives me two pounds every time it comes through. Oh, that's nice. I do kind of want cards. And so the thing is, I don't want to have to go here because then you're going to straddle that and you're going to get Lose negatory points, points um, which I don't particularly want. And I'll go ahead and get rid of this disc. I will go here, though, and gain myself a fairy, which will go into my discard pile. Um, and now I have that there unlocked. Okay. And then, um, boom, and then we have to put out those. Put out a, gosh, two floods, isn't it? Well, yeah. I guess one of the floods. Put out the, the hands of the same, uh, put out a black hand out here because the green hands cost more yes they do um and then put out the hazard bonus tile there you go unless you get a hazard for three pounds yeah not bad okay okay, okay. that everything for you i think so all right um so i'm feeling i'm feeling wild man feeling feeling positive <laughs> i'm gonna come huh? down this way away from the hazard of course uh, I'm going to go up two spaces on the hazard, or sorry, the uh, Pathfinder track and gain a gold. Nice. Um, and now I'm going to move my ship at one point of movement. So I'm going to spend my one point to mm. become the, the, the harbor this master. Harbor master, not station master anymore. So I have to pay two pounds. I don't even know what trains are in New Zealand. Never heard of them. Never even heard of them. Those are like, you know, that's like when you have like a dark ride, like small world. You're on a boat, but it's on a track. Like that's a train. Exactly. Like boat, but... Track two, I don't, it's confusing. Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm gonna take off this disc to go here. This is gonna give me 
a halberd, a half bread. Um, a <laughs> halberd. halberd? Yeah. It's going, it's going uh, old school Lord of the Rings, man. They got halberd over here. Uh, a half bread. So that's, again, because that is what the little ship wheel icon is. I'll go to my discard pile. Um, and if you want to become station master, I do want to become the harbor master. So I will use, I have to turn in an employee because they got to come work here. I'm going to replace this with that. Give me nine bucks. This is going to give me nine pounds. And for every two of my buildings at the end of the game, it's worth a point. Yeah, that's pretty good. And the way I'm thinking about it is like if I rehire a builder, I get to trigger that bonus again. Yeah. It's like, it's kind of great. Not a bad idea. So I'm going to take that and uh, take nine pounds for my Oof. troubles. For my troubles. Um, okay, I'm going to go here. I guess I'll turn in these two English Leicesters and uh, get two pounds for that. And then I could hire somebody. I kind of want, I would love to, ooh, do I want to hire someone? I don't have that much money. Darn, I don't know. Um, I would love to get a shearer because shearing sheep is a great way to get money. Definitely. And you can deliver with that too. So it's like you get points stuff for it, but it's like, do I want to blow like all my cash? Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to get a shearer, Mikey. Okay. Nice. Purple shearer. Blah. Yeah. Okay. It's not a bad idea, man. Not a bad idea all at all. I'll have to shuffle up here. All righty. What you doing? I want to do that too. Cause yeah, I mean the, that building, you're limited by the amount of shears you have. There's like personal buildings you have, which can get away from those rules. Yes. So, I mean, but if I'm building, I can maybe circumvent that a little bit. Awesome. I don't know. I think, um, I think what we need to do is come up here. So I'm going to gain a gold. Now I could turn this gold to get either a border uh, Lester or a half bread. I'm about to shuffle. I'm going to do it. I'm going to turn in my three gold and take one of these yellows. Mm. Just get a little more diversity in my hand before that shuffle. Yeah. Um, so I spent my gold there. I can do an auxiliary action or a dual leveled one. So I think I'm going to, I'm going to do that last because I'm going to do the card thing while shuffle so while Nick goes. But this can allow me to get one of my, one of these bonus tiles with no mitigated, no pluses or minuses, just straight up cost. And I'm going to spend six pounds and take this I have to spend a gold though. Yeah, spend a gold, baby. Mm -hmm. can't Trixie. Get, can't get them sheepies if you want that. Trixie Hobbits. Um, good golly. We know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spend six pounds. I'm gonna take this one here. Yeah, it's still good. This can give me two spots up the um, Pathfinder track. This will get to slot in my board and give me plus one to my movement now, which is pretty sweet. And I gain a gold. Yep. So that's and you pretty get a cool. Bird. And I get one of the burbs. Burbs card. All before we uh, shuffle. And then my auxiliary action, like I said, which I'll do last, is I'm going to draw two cards because I have this unlocked and uh, discard two cards, which I'll do while you go. All right. Um, I have very little dollars. So I think I'm going to go one, two up here, get a gold, uh, and then do you know, auxiliary action. I think I'm going to do the one that gives me two pounds. I just have no money here. Yeah. Hold on, I didn't do any crazy deliveries, so that's that's probably why. But yeah, oof. Okay, going too fast for me, man. In the snappy turns. One thing I like about Great, Great Western Trail in general is like turns are relatively snappy, which is Snap, nice. They're snap tastic. I'm much more willing to go through like a. This won't be like a three-hour game, but a big long game if the turns are quick, you know. Absolutely, you want to stay engaged. Uh, I'm going to turn in an English English. Leicester? Leicester? Leicester. Is it Leicester? I'm sorry if we're saying that wrong. Matthew Jude screaming at the television. <laughs> He's not watching this. He doesn't like Great Western Show. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right. Uh, I'm going to turn in English Leicester for two pounds, and then I can build once again. And I do have two builders still. Yeah, you're building already a ton. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm going to build it all. We'll have to see what kind of game I end up playing. I think I'm just going to build a one builder cost building for two pounds and go down here. Again, I'm on the second spot of the uh, Pathfinder yep. or beyond. So I'm going to do this. I'll get some auxiliary actions to be able to move forward, which feels pretty sweet. It's also in this little grasslands area, which helps for that building. So we're feeling good about that. Nice. And I'm going to come up here. Um, I do not have two she shearers. So I'm going to turn this English Lester and this Dan Marino um, for five wool. 
And whenever you do a wool shearing, you can always deliver that wool. It's both. So I'm going to get five pounds for that. Yep. Which is blam. It does get you there if you it want. It does get me there. It'd be two bucks, although it's two points. Two pounds for two points is a pretty yeah, good game. Yeah, you know, let's go ahead. Five dollars is a point. I don't so. know I'm giving you that. Um, I'll take it. If you're handing it, I'll take it. I was in it. I will, oh, do I want to spend four more bucks and get another certificate or get a certificate to begin with? No, nah, let's get a perma wool. Okay. Should I get a perma wool? Yeah, let's get a perma wool. Well, so this gives me a permanent wool on lock always, uh, which is great. Okay, cool. And then I can do one single auxiliary action. I think we'll do the one where I draw a card and discard a card. Nice. Boom. Ooh, the problem is I don't, I'm going to discard this Shropshire. All right. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay. I think... Hmm. A little light on cash. So, do I go and fix that at the spot? I think I'm going to move forward to you. Okay. I'm just gonna turn in a one -er for a pound. Won't be enough wool to deliver. So you just like a little cotton ball, Mike. Would you like? Uh, this, would you like this hair ball this that my cat wool ball. threw up? Yeah. <laughs> you can't sell that, sir. You need, sir. To, you need to leave the market. Um, Some guys like I'll take it. And then <laughs> I will. I think I'm gonna do a single auxiliary action. I'm gonna draw a card and discard a card. All right. I'm gonna go up here, pay the bank a dollar, set a Mikey, because that's how it goes. Uh, and then I am going to spend. I am gonna buy a sheep. I have two. Um, shepherds, and so I'm going to get this, uh, which one is this? This is uh, a Cordale. I'm going to get this Cordale. It's going to cost me uh, two bucks. Two pounds. All right. Nice. Can I move forward one space to my building? So uh, I'm going to hire someone for two pounds less, so I have five, and I'll take a shearer. What do I want to... Cat I'm moving around. Yeah, the sailors are... Sailor. Yeah. All right, taking a sailor for five, and this allows me to get a gold as well, which is pretty sweet. Um, I'm covering up that bonus there. Um, and then I'm going to do two exchanges. Go ahead. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, without using the exchange token. Oh, you know I didn't see that. You know what I'm saying? That's awesome. If you know. The buildings are so good. All right, I'll go one, two. Take your stupid money. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. <laughs> that was something. That was a That journey. was something. Uh, so that's going to be one, two, I'll stop there. I'm gonna, I have two movements. I'm going to go one and then spend my other movement to put a uh, warehouse right here. It's going to cost two bucks to do so. But nice. I'll get two points at the end of the game and I get a burb. Get a burb. Um, and then also now freeze this up. So now I have a permanent, a permanent certificate, which is great. And I can do an auxiliary action. I want to, I'm just going to draw a card, discard a card. Nice. Okay, I'll discard that because that's a double. Okay. Um, well, I only got one dollar. So I'm going to move two spaces forward to my building. I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, that's that lush. Is, that lush? So yep. We've got all three buildings in the lush lens. The lush grass. Um, <laughs> with like the little buildings there, the little uh, bushes, I should say. So we yeah. get six pounds, which we're definitely into that. Then yeah. a single auxiliary action. I think I'm just going to take a pound because I think I like my cards. So I'm going to do that. Okay. I'm going to go to Wellington, Mikey. To Boom. Wellington he goes. So I have three, five, seven, eight, and my permanent one is nine. Ooh. So I can actually reach this one, which is great because I can get one of my black border discs out. So I have nine. I'm going to get nine bucks. I'm only going to get six because I am going to go here. I have to pay for that. So boom, and then what one do I want to get rid of? Do I want to have more cards? I feel like that's always like the obvious choice. You know, it's like, hey, always useful. Increase your hand limit. That's always great. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do it. It's gonna cost me an extra three bucks. I'm not gonna come out of this one with a ton of money, but I will do this one. Now I can hold five cards. Blam! I also get an objective when I do this. Ooh, three buildings and a hazard, or those ones. I do already have those I was two. Say, I feel like you're already collecting uh, I'll sheep. do that one at the very end. I literally already have, I have one red and one yellow, so this part's done. I got to hope slash assume I'll be able to deliver to a 13 plus at some point, so right. I'm going to do that there. Let's get some new objective, please. Yes, indeedy. Um, okay, what do you want to do with the A's and the B's? Uh, let's put out the flood one. Flood's gonna go to the four spot. Because the flood is getting flooded. Um, and then let's put out the Joker. Joker, boom. 
Ooh, Going new sheets. Here. Yep, we're going to refill. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need three more. One. We'll kind of bunch these up. Boom. And then another one here. Okay. Boo. All right. Okay, do I go to Wellington? I've got monies. I've got too much I want to do, man. I'm just yeah. too... You're that. I don't take my time. I wander here. I now have two uh, sailors, so two movements. I'm going to go one and some of my second one to pay two pounds to uh, pull this building off and place it here, which is going to give me two points into the game and a burb, please. And I also now have a permanent wool. Yeah. For any shearing purposes, which is great. On top of the one I have here, so I actually have two permanent wool. Yeah, not bad. Um, which I'm now realizing when I turned that one card, I should have gotten a second pound for that. So I'm going to take it now. All right, Conan. Let's right, go. Conan. All right. I'm, I'm going to go this. here. I'm turn in two, <laughs> two Shropshires uh, for two pounds. Um, I don't think I can hire anybody, so that's all I'm doing. Okay. Um, I'm going to move forward one space. Do I have... It's the whole thing, like, do I want to risk the bisque? Yeah. Uh, I'm hanging on to my card, so I won't turn anything in for the shearing value. But I do want to turn in six pounds to take a joker now. Yeah. I do have the gold to pay, so I'll pay a gold, which is on the tile itself, six pounds. And this is a, a virtual, like, an employee I can put anywhere. Yeah. I talked about doing... Um, Getting a shearer, and so I think I want to do that, but I also want a shepherd. There's just too much good stuff. Too much good stuff, man. Golly gee. Um, a shearer might not be prudent because there's two of them in the market. I think I'm going to take a shearer and get an exchange token. Uh, shepherd. Shepherd, I'm sorry. What did I say? Shearer. Shepherd, not a shearer. Indeed. All right. Um, man, I really want sailors. Just because I feel I want to go here, but like I just can't move really. Mm -hmm. I'll go. I will go here because mostly because I want to go up here get a gold. Gold's always good. Uh, and then I will move. What do I want to move? Oh, with my sorry for my last thing down here. I never finished. It. I was just gonna move down here and take a pound. Yeah, can you move me up actually? Up here? Yeah. Sure. Boom. And then I will spend this gold to get a, a half breed over there. And you got it. And get more sheep as many as possible always. Okay. Um, and then also, sorry, I'm going to play this one, which gives me two pounds. Nice. And then these, the cool thing about these, all these deck building cards is they allow you to draw a card. So I always, you, they're not really clogging up your deck because you always just redraw yeah, something. Just, just nice little extra something. Yeah, it's something. so awesome. All right. Um. Okay, well, I got to go to Wellington. So... We are here. I have a hand of nine value, so I'll go where Nick went on his last trip through. I'll get nine pounds. I'll turn in a one for ten. Uh, nine pounds, and I think I will indeed spend three so I can go to the nine spot. Yeah. And um, I'll gain an objective, and I can place out one of my more valuable... Blackboarded discs. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take this one here so I have a permanent certificate. Yeah. Ooh, I, sorry, I should have an extra pound. I forgot I had a. No, no, no I got that. Never mind. Here. Um, and Very I'll good. go right there. And in terms of an objective, um, I feel like I can take one of the hazard. Oh, well, I am building a lot, and you are. I, in theory, could get a level four building built out. Yeah. Uh, I'll take this. Okay. I'll take this. See if it works. Okay. Uh, so there's that. I'll put out a sailor here into the employee market. And let's put this out. This just costs four gold and it's worth eight points straight up. There's yeah. nothing else it does. It's just super valuable yeah, for the Yeah, it's the money game. and the, the gold. But man, it's, eight points is not nothing. That is not I nothing. I know, Mike. That could be kind of a, that could be a game yeah. changer right could at the end of the cool. game. You never know. Could be cool. Um, all righty. So I'm gonna go bop, bop right here. I'm gonna give you a person. Thank you. Um, and I'm gonna turn it in one of these English lusters and to get two pounds. And then I'm gonna build a building. I'm gonna build this one right here. I only have one uh, builder, so I can only build a level one, but I'll build this one. Nice. So double auxiliary action, I can move on to the next spot. Um, and that's gonna cost me two pounds. Okay. 
Beauty, beauty, beauty. Um, all right. Got stuff to do, man. Uh, so I have a couple, I have a deck building card here, so I'll move up one spot on the Pathfinder track and draw a new card. Okay. And I'm going to play out my objective. So I'll put my little objective here. And uh, that's going to give me, right now, two movement points. Um, nice. So do I want to move here? Take over the Haba. I'll move one. And uh, I'll pay at least three pounds to master the harbor and put out a disc. I think I'll put out one of these here so I can maybe get some more certifications. This is going to give me another border Lester, a, a yellow. And then I can put out an employee and gain eight pounds. And at the end of the game, I get one point per building I've built. Mm. I've built three already. Yeah. Well, who do you get uh, rid of? Who do I get rid of, man? And you can put a joker if you want to. Yeah. Gosh. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm put the joker out. It might not be wise. But here we are. So boom. Going to take that. Going to get eight pounds right now. I guess I paid six for them, so I've made two dollars. I haven't lost anything per se. No, no, not really. Um, and I got an exchange token out of it, so that's pretty hey, sweet. I'll take it. All right, so I'm going to do that. Okay, I'm going to come here to my building. I'll do a... Uh, so the action of draw two cards, discard two cards. I'll discard one of these Shropshire. Oh, you know discard... what I didn't do is take my turn. I'm sorry. You what? finish your turn. I just did that with all this bonus Oh, thing. yeah, you're right. Go ahead. <laughs> I haven't done my turn yet. I'm so sorry. You're good. Um, I'm going to move, I think, straight to here. And um. I'm just going to do the single auxiliary action. I'm going to spend two pounds to gain a certificate. And then move forward to here, move up the Pathfinder track, gaining a gold. And I can move now. And I'll move one and turn in four pounds to put out another building. Now you may go. And I apologize for it. got right, lost I'll in my turn that. There. Draw these two. Discard this. Discard this. And I'll play uh, this for two pounds. And then um, discard that and draw another card here. Ooh, my objective, which I'll go ahead and play because I believe I'll be able to do it. And that's going to give me two more uh, exchange tokens. Nice. Cool. All right. And then I bop right here and I can turn in two cards for uh, Shearing Sheep. Mm. I, think, I think I'll do this one, the South Down and a Shropshire. It's only going to be two pounds. Uh, actually, I guess three pounds because I have a permanent, permanent wool here. But that's fine. Um, and then, yeah, I think that would be good. I can do an auxiliary action. Let's, let's just draw another card and discard a card. Well, I'll discard this. Shop, shop. Okay, nice. I'm going to move here. I'm going to take a gold. Uh, for my auxiliary actions, um, I'll draw two cards and discard, uh, but I'll do it at the end of my turn. I'm going to buy a bonus tile. I'm going to buy this one right here for seven pounds. This is going to give me a doge, please. Doge. A little herding dog. Uh, and two gold, which maxes me out on my gold, which could allow me to get one of these, which allows me to upgrade a building to the next kind of level. Yeah, for free. So pretty, you could, I mean, especially you could like, gold on it. you get that early enough and you can do it a couple times. Doing it, man. You're kind of going, going building, it. so it's like. I'm trying to go a little building. Yeah. Uh, my last, uh, my auxiliaries, I will draw two cards, discard two, uh, which will make me shuffle my deck. So maybe I'll get that card right away. Right. Okay. Um, I am going to, I'm going to roll, boom, here. I'll pay that coin to the bank. Um, and I'll go ahead and get rid of this south down for two pounds. And then I'm going to buy a cattle. I only have, again, two shepherds, but I'm going to spend 10 bucks, very expensive, Woo! to get this Suffolk because they are very good. There's only one out there. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. It's a lot of money, but we're going to deal with it. Very valuable, though. All righty. Man, that's nice. Yeah. Okay. All right. What you doing? 
Um. I, I think I'm going to go. I have no money. No money. Hmm. Thing kind of costs money, hey. <laughs> and sometimes. Is that the rules of this world? Is this how this this how this universe works? That things cost money. <laughs> um. Interesting. I don't know. Well, you got figured out. I think I'm gonna move up to my building. One, two, three. And just uh, do some card exchange stuffs. All right. I'm gonna go one. Boom! You'll have to take a coin. Thank you. Boom, I can move two. I can move me up one spot. On the boat? Yeah, and then I'm going to spend... Oh, I no longer have three bucks. Oh, do I want to do that then? Mm, well, you have an auxiliary action. You can gain a pound. So gain oh, a I'll pound do that one back. first. Yeah, so I'll gain a pound, and then I'll spend the three bucks to you put... You can do those in any order you like. So you can put a, uh, a black disc out, and I'm like... Or a black border disc, and I'm going to do this one. It's going to be a permanent... Yeah. Permanent cert. Yeah, permanent cert. Permanent uh, cert. Ah. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. That's that's when I deliver. Not now. Oh, right. <laughs> sorry. I will put a warehouse out. Right. Which will give me a gold here, but yeah, that's... But it's now. nice to be able to get, like, a blackboard disc out for only seven. For only seven, which is, like, right. pretty darn great. So, right, yeah. Right, okay, right. that's what I'm doing. Um, okay, I'm going to go just two spaces forward to my building and take six pounds. Yep. And I think I'm going to spend two pounds to gain a certification, which gives me a gold as well. Let me cross over from the one to the two. Okay. All right, I'm going to go to Wellington. There you go. Boom. All right, so I have two, four, seven, ten, eleven, uh, and a permanent one here is twelve. So I will be the deliver here. It's going to cost me four, but that's okay. I'll go ahead and pay that. So I'll get essentially eight bucks. Boom, 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 and boom. And then this is one. Now I'll pull this off, the one I was going to do, blap, and put it down there. That's great. Okay, perfect. And then um, I can put out some stuff. I'll put out that sailor Okay. for that one. And then put out the leftmost one. This one? Yeah, you can get rid of a, a south down and get a, get a Romney. Romney. Yeah. All right, so we've hit this kind of midpoint in the game. So we Ooh. have a number of buildings with a one on, which you would have seen in the overview, that are going to flip now to their two sides. This will flip and miss anything over there. I don't think so. Think it's just it's, uh, those four right there, yeah? I see. Okay. All right, and then I'll come on back. Ooh. Come on back now. <sighs> All right, what are you doing, man? Oh, man, that's a good question. Um... We're about halfway through or so. Find... I feel like I have no, like, direction. I feel like I'm not doing anything particularly, like, stellar. Right. Um... Gosh, I really want one more certification. I just don't think it's going to happen. Right. But that's okay. So I'm going to... Hmm... Let's do this. I'm going to go just here, and I'm going to use, I have my uh, now, oh, actually, I do have enough so I can do this. Uh, now that this is flipped, you have basically two actions where you move based on the amount of sailors yes. you have. I have Same action two. twice, but it's nice, yeah. So I'm going to go one, two. Um, do you want to throw someone down there? I don't think so. Instead, I'm going to go on my second action, one, and spend two to put out a building. I think you're going to... Deliver 23? Maybe. God, that'd be awesome. And turn to five pounds. 23 to is so. a lot, but hey, if you can do it, 17 points though. I mean, it is. I mean, something to shoot for. <laughs> it is something else. The thing is, it gave me a building I used to have yeah. another permanent hundred percent. And it didn't cost me anything to put the building down, so I was like, why not, right? Yeah. Like, if you get there, you get there. Kind of what I'm thinking. Okay, I'll play this. I'm just gonna move me to the Pathfinder track once. Boom, and I'll get to draw another curd. Boom, okay. All right, now I'm just gonna move here. I'm gonna turn these two English lusters for uh, two pounds. And then I think I'm gonna buy, uh, hire that uh, shepherd. We have not, we've been getting all hazards out there. We haven't gotten the like any new game. ones, but yeah. I'm gonna, no, I'm sorry, the, the uh, shepherd. 
What am I thinking? Sailor? I can't. I do want I that don't sailor. Know a boy named but today, I've been apparently. doing a lot of. I've been doing a lot of. Um, I've been collecting a lot of cattle. Man, oh, lot what of does this do? Oh, for four bucks, I can get one of these and put it on top of my deck. But I don't have four bucks if I do this. Okay, then I think I am going to get a sailor because I do want a sailor and I don't want to waste that bonus because sure. I only have two bucks. Sure. Yeah, so I am going to get a sailor, which is nice. I'll get a gold for that. That's just good. I do want a sailor, but I was just like, uh, nah, no, nah, let's not waste that, <laughs> not please. Like that. All right. All right. I'm going to go one, two to Wellington. Uh, I have two, four, six, nine, ten, eleven. I can go up to 13. Um, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to go. 12, 13, so I can deliver here, as I've built out there. So it's going to be 13 pounds, first of all. And then uh, I'm going to spend four pounds to deliver. So I'll actually only take in nine. This is going to cost four to deliver there, but yep. I get to put out a black border disc and gain eight points, which seems well worth it. Uh, yeah, very nice. For four bucks. Um, I think I need to increase my hand size now, so I'll spend an extra three pounds. Kind of hurts. I can help now hold five cards. Yeah, it's nice. Um, I'll put out this hazard here on the two spot. Let's put another Joker out. Okay. Um, I guess I'll go here. I'll get an auxiliary action. I'm going to uh, take a pound, and then can I get oh, so boop. Now I have an extra move, which would be nice. I actually, usually I don't mind like not having a ton of movement, but this one's actually been like, ah, uh, I keep wanting to move four instead of three, yeah. and so that'll actually be nice. All right, it's very useful. Can you move back over there, please? Okay. So we've got a couple of deck building cards, real quick. I'll just throw that down. And move up the Pathfinder track. Okay. Um, and then this one here, where mm. I can either take two pounds or I can upgrade something the one building, higher. A building by a level. So again, a two, I think it takes two to three. <sighs> right. Um, I think I'm, I'm going to replace that building just because I haven't been using it to hire people. Okay. So this will go, go out of the game, yep. Away. That'll allow me to do some more boat movement and then move up to two spaces mm. ahead uh, after that. So I think we'll we'll go for that. Um, I need to pay my two pounds for that. Nice. I believe. Um, okay. And then I have an objective. I think I feel comfy playing this. I need to get a hazard done, but I get two boat movements straight away. Um... So let's go forward one space, and then I'll spend two pounds to put out another building. Nice. Uh, I'll put out this one here, which gains me a gold straight away. If you could, please. And I get a dog. Yeah, Doge. Sweet Doge. All righty. And I'm going to... Gosh, all that was... <laughs> yeah. You did <didn't> <laughs> these huge turns so before your turn. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go one, two straight to here. Um... I think I'm going to spend, do an auxiliary action, spend two pounds and move my certificate up because if I'm going for some of these bigger things, I better better get as many of those as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I can move forward one space and I'll go here and I can move up one, two spaces on the Pathfinder mm -hmm. track. And this gives me an option, not pay for any sort of hazards and things in terms of money, or I can flip this movement to two. I think I'm going to take, hmm. Yeah, what do you do? I haven't been building a lot, so yeah, it's like... I building a lot. I think I'm going to take the extra movement. Yeah. Like, I'm going to take the hands if, if slash when I get there, because there are a lot of hazards, and Mikey's been putting out a yeah, lot of buildings. So I have a maxed out movement of five, and the single auxiliary action I'm going to do... Um, I think I will draw a card, discard a card. Okay. And take it away. I'm going to go one, two, three. Do auxiliary action. Oh, I need to shuffle these, but I'm going to do draw... Two cards, discard two cards. I also have all these exchange tokens I really should use. I was planning on using them before I went to Wellington, but I ended up not needing to. So gotcha. I was like, oh, okay. And I could, you can always turn in two of these to get rid of a, a Shropshire, your, le your level one cow, and get a gold, which I might, ooh, I might do, because it would give me, it would give me, hold on, do I have a yellow cow? 
I don't. Ooh, that's interesting. You know what? I think I have it. Yeah, actually, I'm going to do this right now. I'm going to do this right now. So I'm going to turn in these two. I can get rid of a Shropshire out of the game, bam, and get a gold. And I'm going to use that gold. I'm just going to get that Border Lester down there. All right, that's the last one. Yeah, I'll do that because then now I'll actually take my turn. Because I'm like, oh, that's nice. I can get that because I already had one of the half breeds. So I was like, okay, I can do that then. All right. So, boom, and I'll draw two cards. Discard two cards. Um, I'll discard this one. I guess this one, as much as I'd like to use that. Okay. And then I'll move here and I can turn in sheep for wool, which is interesting because I actually have a pretty good hand for Wellington, but I also have a pretty darn good hand for getting rid of some sheep. So I think I am, I think I'm gonna, I have two shears, so I can do these two, it's gonna be eight plus a perma wool is nine wool, which is one gonna give me nine bucks, which is great. But then on top of that, I can now deliver this wool and I think I am gonna deliver it to that nine spot down there, Mikey. It's gonna cost me five bucks to do so. Ooh. But it'll be nice. And you'll get a Romney, so you get another sheep out of it. Which that's a, that's kind of my thought. Now I can get rid of a black border disc. What do I want to get? Mm. I really want one of these, but they're going to cost an extra four bucks, which leaves me with like not much. Right. But it might just be worth it. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to spend four more bucks and get another permanent certificate. So I have plus three at all times Man, now. And nice. it's going to get me a Romney sheep, which is great. So, okay. Good on you, man. Woo. Very good on you. Oh, um, and then I can do auxiliary action. Um, yes, sir. Uh, I think I'll, I'll, I'll take a dollar. I'll take a dollar. All right, go ahead. All right, I'm going to go one, two, three, and join you up the way. Um, I'm going to turn in, I only have one shear, so I'm going to turn in one sheep, a merino, damn merino. Uh, they have three, Aye. but I have two permanent wool, so I can get up to five, which will be five pounds and enough to deliver over here. So we'll definitely take that. Uh, so five pounds, but I'm only going to keep three of it because I'll spend two to put a disc out. And um, I'm going to do this one here. Kablam. And for my single auxiliary action, um, I'm going to spend two pounds to get a certificate, which again, gains me a gold. Cool. All righty. Um, hmm. Want to do... Man, so I'm trying to decide if I want to go over here and buy another sheep. I can't, I need to get another shepherd because then I can start buying these for cheaper. But mm. that's kind of what I've been doing. I've been kind of going decently heavy sheep. So I'm like, I probably should keep going that way. Um, Man, yeah, let's go here. I'm just going to spend uh, my two shepherds and two, and I'm going to get uh, this one right here. Another Lincoln Damers right there. <laughs> Um, and that's it. Okay, I'm moving forward one spot, and I have two sailors, so can I just go one, two around the far side of the island, like right okay. there? And I can move up to two spaces forward. I'm going to move two spaces up to here. Yep, get some money. And here. get uh, six pounds, because I have three buildings in the kind of lush areas. And for my single um, auxiliary action, I'll spend two pounds to gain a certificate. Yeah, good. Good. Okay, I'm gonna go one, two. I'll have to give you a pound. Thank you. Um, and I'll go one, two. Oh man, am I gonna be able to deliver there? I don't know if I am, but let's try it. Ooh, or should I do that? I think I can get eleven. I'm gonna go one. Eh, eh, sorry, one. Eleven wool. Ooh, two. Baby. I I think the last time I did, I did like nine or ten, so I've gotten pretty close. Uh, and so I'm like, eh. Uh, when you go there, they will have to pay a pounds, lot of points, money, yeah. Me. But Not bad, I'm going to get three pounds for unlocking that. And I can move two more. Nice. Uh, I'll just move two more over. One, two? Yeah. Okay. Boop. Um. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Tough stuff. Tough indeed, man. Tough indeed. Oh 
man. Okay, I'm gonna go here. And with my first move, I have two sailors still. I'll go one space forward. Spend my second point of movement to Lop a disc master now. that harbor for four pounds. Yep. I'll get a ferry. Get a ferry. Um, I can do a dark bordered disc, eh? Um, yeah. Gosh, I just don't have that much cash. Is a problem. I only have two pounds. So I think I'll take this, which will, again, maximize my movement now to six. And I'll gain three pounds. Uh, although I could do a lesser action. Or I could do a lesser disc, couldn't I? Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll do this. I'm going to do a white color disc, a white border disc to do that there. Yeah. Um, yeah you can always... Just because I want to get more certifications. Mm. And then I'm going to turn in a sailor to uh, take that scoring tile. Because for every five spaces up the yeah. Pathfinder track, you'll get two points. I'm already at 12, so I'm already worth four points there. Yeah. And five pounds. Yeah, you got a lot of in-game scoring there. So I'm hoping for it. Um, okay. I think... I think I'm going to use an exchange token real quick. Draw two, discard two. Um, okay, so I'm going to discard these two. Okay, and then I'm going to go to Wellington. To Wellington. All right, so I have uh, 3, 6, 9, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, gosh, could I get 21? Is there any way I can get 21? <laughs> Um, I guess I could use another exchange token, but do I? I don't think I have something. <laughs> what? Oh man, I have twenty, not quite twenty-one. Ooh. I could make cl get close to this. I'll just take the eighteen. So I'll deliver here for the eighteen. Okay. Uh, so I have twenty-one minus six means I'm gonna get fifteen bucks. Okay. Fifteen bucks. Blam! So I also did this for sure, which is great. Now, what disc do I want to take off? Do I want to do this one and be able to hold another hand in another card in my hand, or do I want to do this one and get another perma wool? I kind of want another perma wool because I really want to deliver that eleven spot up there. Yep, makes sense. So I think I'm going to spend four more bucks and do another perma wool. Uh, bam. Okay. Cool. Okay, Mikey. Then put out that shearer. Boom. I just want another darn. Employee out there and then put on that Joker. Joker. And we're going to refill this. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, two more. Eight and nine. Oh, I was hoping for another Suffolk. Nice. Okay, and then I'll come back with these. There you are, sir. All righty, we get some more A's and B's, and then it's your turn. <sighs> I'm trying to think of what is most prudent. It wouldn't be prudent. <laughs> I'm going to go one space forward here. For my auxiliary actions, I'm going to draw two cards, discard two. Um, I'll discard this and that. This will give me a deck building card, so I'll go up one spot on the Pathfinder track and draw a new card. Okay. Nice. Uh, and then I'm going to spend five and remove a hazard, because I do need to get one for my objective here. Yep. So I will take this one. Um, that's a flood one. I'll pop on there so I remember, and I'll get a fairy as a result. Thank you nice. very much. Thank you very please. And that is that. Okay. I'll go here. I'm going to turn in these. Oh, first I'm going to do this, get two pounds. Um, and then I'll draw a new card. Let's see what we get. Our Dan Marino. Okay. So I'm going to turn in these two Shropshires for two more pounds. Nice. And then I am going to get, hire an employee. I'm definitely going to hire that um, Shepherd nice. now, because yep. now I can do this. So that's going to be what? Eight, five, six, seven, eight. Boom. Shepherd, because now I can spend four to get a, um, to get one of these. Now, do I want the one with super wool or the one worth more breeding power? I think I'm going to go super wool because I think I'm probably going to shear. And that goes on top of my deck, which is the benefit of that one. So now here's the thing. I have seven bucks. I really do want another shepherd, another shearer, rather. Sure. So I think I'm going to blow. Oh, no, it's, it's sorry, it's seven plus three. So I can't actually buy, get another employee. Darn, darn, darn. I really wanted that other, that other shearer, but not quite. Okay, that's it. Okie dokie. 
Uh, to Wellington for me. To Wellington I do have, I go. Uh, 246, 9, 10, 11 for sure. Um, and I think I'm going to save my certificates for another. Uh, do I want to do one to get to 12? I'll do one to get to 12 so I can deliver up there. So 12 pounds for me. Uh, I will deliver to where you've gone previously. So I'd spend four pounds. Uh, and I'm going to spend eight more pounds to increase my hand size once again. Yeah. So basically it's all my cash. Sorry, 12? 12 spot. Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to do that. I will put out a sailor. Sailor. And I'll put this out as a bonus tile. It's back to you. Okay. I think I'm going to go one, two, three here. I'm going to do an auxiliary action. Let's... Let's draw two cards, discard two cards. Oh, wow, that's two cards I literally already had. Great. All right, boom. And then I can buy a bonus tile. I think I am for five bucks. Why can we get that one in between the two jokers there? Which, I'm sorry. Oh, this one? Yeah, right yeah. there. So it's going to get me a uh, gold, which is great. And then I can get rid of a level two card. I have two of these south down, so I'm just going to get rid of one. This is getting rid, get rid of. And then uh, gain a Romney, boom, which is awesome, because that's better. All right, and that's me. Very nice. Let's get my hand put together get here. My hand together. All righty. Um. Let's see. I'm going to play this out. And again, I can get two pounds or I can upgrade a building. I think I'm going to do. Oh, man. I'm going to replace this. I'd probably replace that yeah. one. With my uh, uh, building, uh, it takes one more builder to build. Um, so that's that. And I get to draw a card. Okay. And then I've got a couple of my deck building cards. So I'll get a certificate from my Daoge. Nice. And I'll get two pounds from the fairy. And I'll nice. draw two more cards. Nice. One, two. More? No. Okay, that was it. No more. <laughs> Be wild. No more, no less. Um, <laughs> so I did all that. And then I'm going to go... Let's see. I don't have much in the way of money. Right. So I'm going to go just to my new building here. One, two. I can turn in any two different cards. So yep. This, again, doesn't require that I have any amount of shepherds. Yes. Um, I'll turn in these two different cards here to get four wool, but I do have one, two more. Brings me up to six, which um, isn't going to be enough to deliver, but I'll get no. six pounds hey, out of six it. Six pounds, baby. We'll definitely take that. Yeah. So that is there. Then I can get a bonus tile if I like. Um... I will take, I'll spend seven pounds, take this one here. It's going to give me two gold, so I'll max out on gold, and I'll take a fairy, and it'll be worth two points at the end of the game, which is also Fair. sweet. Give a fairy, please. Yep. Thank you very pleased. Boom. All righty. All righty. I'm going to go blop, blop right here. I'm just going to get two uh, pounds. Boom, and I'll bop right here. Okay, then I'm gonna turn in this Ryland and this Dambarino uh, to shear. I still only have two shearers. That's gonna be eight, nine, 10, 11, which is great. Um, so it's gonna be 11 pounds, but I am gonna deliver up to that 11 spot, which is minus eight pounds. So I'm only getting three bucks from this, which is like not three great. Three but, bucks and nine points by the end of the game. I mean, seems... Yeah, because I, I get nice. another Romney and I get a... Uh, six points. In six points. And it's a, a dark-bordered space. Yeah, so the question is... Oh, I don't have quite... I was like, do I have enough to do this? I don't. So, I don't... Oh, I could do this one and just get three more pounds. I guess let's do that, yeah. I'm not really using any of these other ones. So I'll do this one. Boom. And that'll give me uh, three more pounds, which is good. Money nice. is good. Nice. I spent a lot of money this this trip through through town. So yes, sir. Okay, you're up. Um, oh, and I can do auxiliary action. Uh, I'll just get another pound. Good call. 
I'm just gonna go here and do an auxiliary action. I think I'm gonna take a card um, and lose a card, and then I will move up two spaces on the Pathfinder track. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, let me get my hand going here. Okay, so. Okay, so I know I'm gonna go here. Uh, I am going to turn in this south down for two pounds. Okay, now I have three shepherds, which means um, I can get stuff for two. So I think I'm gonna do this one. It's only gonna cost me three pounds, but now I can finally get one of these ones. Boom, and that's my three shepherds there. Oof, I don't have a great hand of carry. All right, nice. Uh, me? Yep. I'm going to move forward here. Uh, I'm going to take two pounds for the auxiliary action, and then I'm going to buy a bonus tile. I'm going to spend five pounds and four gold yep. to take just eight points straight up for the end of the game. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to have a lot of end game stuff here. We're going to have to see. Hoping, hoping yeah. to see if I can make your life a little difficult with it. We'll see. I mean, I have more, I have more um, sheep than you. I know that. I think everything yeah, else, I think, I think you're doing... As much better than me, so but I cheap and worth a lot. So I'm gonna go one, two, give you a pound. Thank you, sir. Um, oh, so first I'm gonna do this and gain two pounds. Boom, and then draw a card. What we got? What we got? What we got? Okay, that's a duplicate. Great. Uh, I'm gonna go one, and then I'm gonna put a, a building down here. So that's gonna be. Uh, it's gonna cost me three pounds to do so. So these spots here at the end are kind of interesting because you essentially um, put down a building. Oh, do I want to try and do this? Where's the closest building that I haven't put something on? I'm trying to think if I want to try and get another permanent wool or do I want to do this and get two exchange tokens? I think I'm going to try and get two exchange tokens. So this will go here. It'll be worth four points at the end of the game. I'm going to get one of them burbs right there. Take a burb. And then this kind of resets you. It puts you back at the beginning. Yep. All right. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. No. Oh, I have, I have two more movements. Uh, I'll just move forward two more times. One, two. Yep. You got it. All right. I'm going to go one, two, three up to my building. Uh, I now only have one sailor, so I'll just scoot one space forward Scooch. toward the end of the line. And then I can move forward two. I'll go to my other building, take six pounds. Amen. And um, for my auxiliary, I'll spend two to gain a certificate. Okay. I'm going to go here. I'm going to do the auxiliary action where I draw two cards, discard two cards, because I don't have a great hand. Okay, that's better. Boom. Okay. And then I can um, remove a hazard. I think I will. I have some extra money, actually. So I'll spend five bucks. Um, so one's got four. That's the best one. Give me another fairy. I'd kind of rather have a doge, but I'll do this one because it's worth more points. So that's going to be four points at the end of the game. I'll get another fairy. Blam. All right. Very nice. Uh, I think I'm going to go to Wellington. Wellington bound, hey? Ooh, baby. Oh, I'm sorry. I, just, I forgot my, my exchange tokens. Although, I don't know. This might not be smart. The game is about to end, man. Um, I'm a little... It's close. It's not going to end quite yet, because you'll push the thing down. I'll put one out. Yeah. Basically, we have, including the one Mike's doing right now, we have three trips to Wellington. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do that afterward. Uh, I am... Jump the gun. I've got uh, 246, 12, 13, 14, 15. I can go up to 19. I think I'm just going to use the 15 that I have uh, without spending any of my temporary certificates to go to the 15 spot there. So I'll get 15 pounds. Um, I'm going to spend... Five to go to that spot, and then four more to take this disc. Mm -hmm. So I have another permanent certificate. Yeah. Look at this one, you get a lot of permanent certificates in this one, which is. Oh, sorry, sorry. All right. Okie dokie. Uh, and now I'll add this hazard. And for the bonus tile, make it a little cheap to get a uh, hazard out. All right. All righty. Um, you're coming back here, and I'm going to Wellington now. Yes, you are. All righty. I think we use an exchange token. I want to see if I can get a better hand here. Okay, boom. And 
boom. Okay, that would put me at, that put me at 15. I don't know if I'm gonna get to 21. I really wanna to try to get to 21. I was so close last time. But I guess, let's just do it one more time. See if I can get my big dog. Oh, I'm trying to. Okay, so I think this is the best I can do. No, I'm back at 20 again. I don't know if I can get to 21. I think this is, oh no, there is a chance. All right, I'm going for it. Gotta go for it. If I get my four, I draw two structures. That baby's going away, get out of here. If I had drawn my four had... one right there, I would have been able to get to 21. I'll be at 20 again. It's not the end of the world. I can still go down here, but man, I'm so close. Okay, so I'm gonna have nine, 15, uh, nine, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20. Or I wish I just had a dang, I haven't gotten any certificates the entire game. So 20, darn, man, okay. So boom, I will go here, so I'm just gonna get 15. 15, and I am gonna do this one, which um, if I could have had one more card, I wouldn't be able to do it, yeah. So I'll spend eight bucks to unlock that and go blam there. Nice. Shoot. Okay. Um, uh, and then I guess put out one of those hazards. Let's put the lower one. This one? Yeah. Okay, that'll be in the And then put up the leftmost one as well. Leftmost bonus, okay. One last trip to Wellington. Uh, I'm gonna move to that first space, Nick, and from the start of the trail there, I'm gonna turn in two of the same card, two structures for two pounds. Then I can do a higher, um, right, right. Um, good gosh. Just wondering if oh, it's worth eight pounds. I need sheep too, but there's no more shepherds. No, I think I'm gonna skip the higher. Yeah, we've here, been having actually. nothing but hazards the whole yeah. game. We have not yeah. gotten any employees out. I think there's a no builders. Like, yeah, one thing I meant to do is I meant to uh, play my card and draw. Ooh, that might change something. Very top there. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't think I'm a higher. I think I'm gonna hang on. I think I'm gonna hang on. All right, so go right ahead. All right, I'm gonna. Oh, uh, sorry, I can get some new tiles out there. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four to here. Um, and I think, man. Oh, first let me do this. Actually, I will move up. Boop. There you go. Boom. Draw a card. I think I'm just gonna draw two cards, discard two cards. Boom, let's get rid of those. Okay, um, and then I could buy a bonus. Would that be worth it? I don't know. So the tr Do I have, no I don't. Darn, I'm not sure if I want to. I'm trying to think of like, it would be good to get a bonus tile. Mm -hmm. Or should I try and get some more sheep? I think I'm not going to buy a bonus tile. Yep. Yeah. Okie day. Um, copy that. Uh, I'm going to move forward to my building right here, if you could. Boop. I'm going to turn in two different sheep. Uh, this will have four wool. I have two permanent wool, which gets me to six. Again, not enough to deliver, but enough to get some money. And um, I can take a bonus tile if I like. Um, man, I think I'm gonna spend seven to take this one, which will give me a gold and allow me to trash a South Down and take a Romney to my. Yeah, it's. A discard good one. pile. Hopefully, I can cycle it through. In yeah, time. I definitely like that bonus tile. Yeah, and it's worth the, uh, or it's not worth points, but uh, definitely. Well, I guess in a way, I got a Romney, so it is worth points. Yeah, in a way. Um, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. All right. I'm gonna go one, two. I am going to uh, so actually draw two cards, discard two cards. Oh, oh gosh. Your deck gets very big in this version of Great Western Trail. That's true. It gets very large because you have bonus cards. You have these cards. But again, like you were saying with the 
bonus card, the deck building cards, you yeah. get to just draw a new one, so it it doesn't slow it down per se. No, you no, do end up it with, with more cards than in other versions of this game for sure. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need to get rid of something else. Um, I guess you. Okay, so. Okay. Um, and then I can move here. Is there anything I would want to shear? I could shear two things. Hmm. Interesting. I think I'll just shear. I'm not going to get to 13. I think I'll just shear this one because it's worth five. Sure. She'll so give me five pounds. Um, and I'm not going to deliver it. All righty. All righty. Um, I am yeah, going to play some deck building cards real quick. I've got three of them here. So one will move me up to the Pathfinder track. I'm at the top, so let's get a coin for that. I'll get two more pounds from my doge. Doge. And then um, my dog will get me a certificate. So now I'm maxed out there. So that's nice. nice. And I'll draw three cards to replace those. Boom. This is out of the game. All right, I am. I'm taking my turn yet, am I? You always do these. Do so much before your turns. I'm always thinking, oh, it's my turn. Listen, you know, if you're jealous. You're hey, man, if you're jealous, dude, that's okay, bro. You work through that, man. You um, gotta work through that yourself, bro. I'm gonna go one, two, three up to here, and I'm gonna build, and I'm going to overbuild mm. on this two, make it a four. So I'll spend nice. four pounds to do that. Now you can go. All right, thank you. I'm going to go here. I'm not going to turn in a sheep, but I think I'm going to use my three shepherds. Since we're getting close to the end of the game here, I think, because I have three shepherds, I could spend one, one, and one. And I think that would give me five points as opposed to four over there. So it's going to cost me 13 bucks, but it'll give me one extra point at the end of the game. And I think, who knows? That might be, that might be what decides the game. Who knows? I've been going pretty heavy sheep, so we'll keep on keeping on that front. Um, okay. And that's it. All right, just taking stock of my hand here real quick. Um, okay, I'm going to move one, two spaces up to my building. Can I move one spot forward? I'm so slow now. Boop. And I'll go two spaces up to here. Boop. I'll take six pounds. And a uh, single auxiliary action, I will draw and discard a card. You may go, sir. All right, I'll go here. Hmm. Or do I just, should I just go straight to Wellington? I have a hunch Mikey's gonna go to Wellington next turn. Which means I think so I probably you should. Don't let me plan, but do what you do. Well, are you gonna try to go up? Oh, you can get six extra. If I can, points. but. All right, then I, I, yeah, I think I'm gonna go here. Cause you'll, we'll finish out that. Everyone gets one extra turn, right? Or everyone else gets one extra turn? Correct. Yeah, that's right. I'll go here. I'll spend one movement, two. I have two bucks left, so I might as well put out a, put out a cheeky warehouse right here and get. Oh, I'm already in there. Okay, then I'm definitely going to Wellington then, because I just realized I'm already in there. That's silly. Blank. Going to Wellington. This is new. I don't think there's anything else I can like get to. I could do. No, it's one, two, three. I only have. Two coins, so nope, I can't do that either. Okay, never mind. We are going to Wellington. All right, so I have three, six, nine, 15, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22. I finally got here. I got nice. close to this one. I was like, man, can I get over there yeah. and get it? But nope. So I will do that. Boom, 22 pounds, although it's going to be seven less, so it'll be 15 pounds. Nice. Boom, and then I don't have any black border discs left, so we'll do this one down here, because why not? There you go. Ah. Okay, Mikey, um, and then I guess put out one of those two hazards, because we can't get employees to save our lives. <laughs> and then um, that Joker. Okay. So this is why I was like, I want, I was like, this is five points, so I was like, ooh, yeah. I don't want Mike to get this. So that's why I was like, do I do Wellington right now or not? And so, hey. I'm going to quickly do some exchange token stuff because I want to determine what's going to be the best course of action Course of here. action. So I'll do that one. Um, do this. Card. Do my other one. 
trying to see if like what's going to be the most valuable thing, right? Um, well, it ain't great. Counting, calculating, standby. have one more turn, huh? Yep, you got one turn. So it's like, do you go to Wellington? Do you not go to Wellington? Do you I sail? Think, this is six points, so it's yeah. like... Uh, I think my move is going to be to go to Wellington. Okay. I think I'm going to come one shy, or really a couple shy of what I wanted to do. I wanted to get to my 23. I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah. Um, that would have been awesome. Yeah. So, going into Wellington, I've got a hand of 11, 12, 13, 14, and I can add five more to get to 19. So, I will do that, or I'll go specifically, I guess, to, I'll go to 19. So, I'll get 19 pounds, so I'll spend one, get 20. And I'm going to deliver to the 18 space, um which unfortunately, gosh, I wanted to get to at least the 21. I'll spend yeah. six pounds. I'm, gl I'm glad that you didn't, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, I'll spend six pounds and uh, do this one, which will get me three pounds and 10 points, which is definitely good. Um, and then we'll add this and that, which I don't have space for, for so we'll leave it be. <laughs> that would be for fun Leave anyway. it be, all That's right. That's the end of the game. That's the end of the game, let me grab a pen. For our nippy little pen. This is the grabbing the pen dance where Nick is doing stuff while I talk to You're you while Nick dancing. gets a pen. He does stuff and he's, he's getting dancing. a pen. This guy, he said, this is the well, grabbing like the pen dance. more of a, you know. No, you lied. Theater of the mind situation. You lied. Okay, Mikey. I, I don't know here. I have I absolutely no idea. I, I feel no like clue. you're doing pretty darn good. I feel good I have about a lot it. more sheep than you, so we'll yeah. see. A ton more sheep. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. Don't. Okay. So first thing, every five bucks, I got three points. Six. Nice. Uh, for your buildings, I'm gonna let me count my count mine first. If you have to. One. Can I count mine? Yes, please. Uh, I've got ten. Cool. I wasn't. I was expecting that to be kind of more. Um, four. Oh, sorry. Oh, these. Okay, so all these. All the. Deliveries, the wool deliveries, your number deliveries, all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna get, I actually have a delivery there, interesting, okay. Uh, and not including like these kinds of things, just the wools and these ones. Okay. I believe I have 31. Okay, I have 43. Uh oh. Yeah. All right. Okay, now these kinds of things, Mikey, these, all these thingies. So I got okay. like four. I think I just got those two, right? Yeah. So, oh no, I lied. Yeah. Okay, so I've got one. Three, uh, six, and five is 11. Yep. All right, uh, from this track, I did not do this track like that at all. I got three of them, I got 15. That is not good. Especially because like that's a, if you're kind of even like mildly focusing on it, you can move up that track like pretty easily. Yeah. But I did not, so. All right, um, from bonus slash hazard tiles, if you have any on there, I got four points for one of my hazards. Uh, I only got the one hazard for four as well. Uh, none of your bonus tiles? No, your bonus oh, tiles. Bonus tiles, yeah, sorry. Uh, uh, two, two, three, four, five, two, uh, 16 total. Oof, yeah, oof, this is not, oof. We'll see, hopefully I got a lot more points in cards than Mikey did. I do not have many points from cards at all. So you might, it might be the difference maker right there. I had all these intentions of getting Sheep, but I just that's how it goes, man. Couldn't get to it. Too much stuff going on. Sorry, busy social schedule and all. <laughs> yeah, I'm a busy New Zealand man. What'd you, you get for sheep stuff? Seven. 
to like 50. <laughs> okay, okay, that's that's good for me. I don't know how many I got, but I, I got more than seven, that's for sure. I got 40. Whew. Okay. Well, yeah, you beat me on the size. Okay. Uh, uh, objective cards. I did meet mine. I did have one or two of those kinds of cards. I did deliver to above 13, so I'm going to get three points. All right. I got both of mine. I got to the at least the four spawn on the Pathfinder track in a delivery of 13 or greater and have a building of level four or greater and a flood hazard, so I'll get six points from those. Nice. Okay. From Station Tiles. Uh, so for here, uh, for every fifth spot on the Pathfinder track, I'll get two points. I got to the top, so I'll get six points there. For every two uh, little branchlet buildings, uh, I have two sets of those, so I'll get two points. So that's going to be eight. And then for every building, I have three. It's going to be nine, ten, eleven. Okay, did you unlock this one? Sure did. Me three too. Three points. Uh, did you get any points from, oops, your, your warehouses slash, did you put anybody in this last spot here? I did not do either. What was the first thing for your warehouses? Yeah, if you, if you reached, if you oh, undid no. those. Yeah, yeah. No. So no, no, yep, sure no did. and no. Sure All right, and then I'll get five points because I ended the game. Okay, we'll see I here. Oh man, there's a pretty big disparity on the sheep. Yeah, but <laughs> there's some other the disparities difference. on other stuff here. We'll have to see. I'm very curious. Oh, oh no! Nick did his ho ho score thing. That's it was either close. someone got blown out or it was way close. It was really close. It was one eleven to one fifteen. <laughs> You're kidding me! You have four extra points, man. How? It's tough, and that was good. That was wow. close. I mean, that really that came down to the difference in the Pathfinder track because I got yeah. I got well. Eight real talk, I would have gotten plus six here. I would if I'd gotten there, we would have tied. Wow. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah, you're right. Because it would have gone from three to seven points. We would, I did more than I did a tiebreaker's grace. money, which you would have won. But, yeah, I mean, Ooh. ooh. Close Is game, there? Man. You know what I could have done? Hmm. I actually Rick had two bucks. I could have dropped a thing there. It would have got me one more point. But, hey. dang, one level thing, that is really close. Really Holy close. crap. And Good we both game. destroyed our last scores in this game. That's so. what you hope for, right? It's just improvement. Boom. You know? New Zealand. Done. You've been sheared. So that was a close game, 115. I'm like, oh, somewhere in there, I could have gotten five extra points. I don't know, somewhere in there, probably someone's like, you forgot to score points for this man. You probably did win, in, in fact. Let us know down in the comments if we messed it up. But <laughs> no, so that is Great Western Trail, New Zealand. It's super cool. If you like Great Western Trail, I think you're really going to like this. I like it a lot. Yeah. We will be doing a um, comparative of all three of the games. If it's already out, the time of watching this, there will a card will pop up. It'll be afterwards, nonetheless. Watch um, that. It's going to be the best of the West. Indeed. So really, really like another great addition to this trilogy, you know? Absolutely. It's one we've enjoyed. It's a really cool one. They first announced the series. It's really cool to have all three now be out yes. uh, to be able to compare and contrast. Uh, we really enjoyed this one. Thank you to Plan B and Eggert Spiel for uh, giving this copy so that we could play it for y'all. Um, it's always kind of them to do. And uh, let us know what you think about this one in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Mike. I'm Nick. We're the Brothers Murph, and we will catch y'all next time at the Game House. Bye, everybody.